hi there and today I actually went on a fun little nature walk and I found this plant which is called the Indian pipe. Some of the folk names for it include corpse plant and ghost plant and I think you can kind of tell why. Um, this is actually a really interesting plant. It's one that I've always liked since I was a kid. Um, I never really knew much about it so when I found it today I got really curious and I actually did a little bit of research. So um, I actually found out that this is a completely parasitic plant. It actually depends on both a tree and a fungus to survive. Um, there are actually a lot of plants that, that require the, the fungus for, the, for their roots to grow and um, trees as well. But this one is uh, kind of unique because it doesn't actually give anything back. Um, and it requires both. What's also unusual is many plants that do require this, this fungus or tree relationship with it is that it requires a certain kind of fungus or a certain kind of tree. This particular plant um, actually can do a symbiotic relationship with about 14 different kinds of uh, funguses and 14 different kinds of trees. So it's got a huge range and all it really needs to grow is these two things and a shady patch of land. This one's actually kind of weird because it's it's growing alongside grass, which I've never actually seen it do before. Now, the full plant actually looks like this. I actually dug this one up. And so this would be the, the root ball, and then this would be the plant. You actually only see the plant come up when it's flowering. <coughs> and the flower part of the plant, which is really kind of nifty, you can see that it actually is a flower. And actually when I came over here and found this one, there was a bee pollinating it. So bees do pollinate them just like regular flowers. They just don't have any chlorophyll, which is really cool. These are a really nifty plant. Um, with the research that I found about it, it actually does have some medicinal properties to it. Um, traditionally, by Native Americans, it was used as an anticonvulsant and against nervous disorders, as well as to treat sore eyes. So um, it did have that traditional medicinal use, and um, you can actually make a tincture with this. I really wouldn't suggest it because some of the sources that I've read said that you can get pretty nauseous and pretty sick. Um, but apparently the tincture itself is a really beautiful bright purple color and is used to help you sleep. So this guy is used for sleep. Um, I wouldn't suggest eating it until you do a lot of research and ask a professional first. Um, before you go sick in any kinds of things you just find inside your mouth. Don't just go eating wild things. Really don't do that. Um, so that is Indian Pipe. I hope you enjoyed this and see you around.